What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we're here with some Pie Rumble action going ahead and having a look at the brand new Super Sugo Fest exclusive Redhead Shanks and see what he's capable of doing in Pie Rumble. So of course with the recent release of Uta we had a pretty good core of Cerebral and now with Shanks we are going to only add to that. However, look on paper I think that they probably should have made his abilities a little better than what they currently are but let's go ahead and break him down so shanks in rumble is going to provide cerebral characters with six health six speed and six attack that's a very good rumble ability no complaints from me about that then we've got this special which is a 35 ct it's a little it's a little pricey in terms of time but uh, it, it will go ahead and remove 100 percent chance of removing any stat reducing effect that is inflicted to your team now, what we did find out was, is that this rumble ability does not remove half stats that the enemy will apply to your team. This will only remove effects like, you know, level 5 attack down or level 6 speed down, stuff like that. This effect just removes all of those negative effects that are inflicted to your team. Unfortunately, it doesn't get rid of halving of stats, which would have been amazing. But then also he targets your cerebral allies for 6 speed and 6 attack for 15 seconds and then he does a large horizontal range of 2.8 times his attack. I really wish the damage was higher because uh, look I, I do like the fact that he provides some unique abilities here but I think that the damage that cerebral needed it just needed to be a lot higher than what this guy currently provides. But he's not a bad unit in Rumble, definitely better than some characters that have released in the past, the past, you know, six months or so. He's definitely good. Now, in terms of the Cerebral team that we have here, I'm still not 100% sold on this team exactly. I think the core of Uta, Carrot, Wanda, and Shanks, I love that core. And I also like Doflamingo on the bench. It's about finding the characters that surround those guys. So Chopper, while he is good, he doesn't provide offensive capabilities, but his healing is very good and his Rumble ability is also exceptional and then i feel like neko mamushi is not a very good rumble rare recruit either at least in today's day and age we really need an updated pirate rumble cerebral character to be injected into this team but this is the team we have right now let's go ahead and use it in some content and see if we can find any opponents so this is a pretty interesting one. We're going to go with the Cerebral versus the Driven team. So the thing about Driven is, you know, with uh, with Bellamy, they can provide some really interesting health cuts and with really low CT. We know that the Capone crew can be very annoying to take down and he's likely going to be the final character remaining. He's extremely bulky. And we know that Doflamingo can provide some really good bulk for their side of the field too. So in terms of defenses, I think this actually could be a little bit annoying to take down. But in terms of the damage that the opposing team can provide to us, I'm not really that concerned about it. So I'm not concerned about losing any of our allies too quickly at least, which I guess could could actually be a little bit of a problem because in the late game, getting Doflamingo in could be really good. But if we've got really good healing with Chopper and we can just tank all their hits, that could be a problem. So we'll see what kind of uh, occurs here. So obviously Capone crew not really doing too much here, which is fine. Doflamingo does a little bit of damage, more defenses. Yeah, this could be annoying, but let's see how much damage we can get with Uta. She typically does good damage. That was reasonable damage, at least. Uh, Bellamy with providing, you know, multiple health cuts very quickly. Here we go with Karen and Wanda. They, they usually will do some pretty solid damage. Nice getting rid of Bellamy, so we don't have to worry about those health cuts anymore. Speaking of health cuts, there is Cat Viper and Shanks. Unfortunately, Capone Crew is just sitting at the front, so he's going to tank the brunt of Shanks' attack. So this is actually really bad for us because we really want all of them to sit together so that we can hit all of them at once. But having Capone Crew at the front, and this is one of the big issues with horizontal ranged attacks, is that in this situation, like they're, they're essentially pointless. They don't really provide that much to our team. We really want these characters to start sitting together gonna get hit from blackbeard doing some speed down which really doesn't matter too much look at the stats across the board on our team are absolutely phenomenal i am just concerned now that we're not going to get enough damage in in time which again is going to be one of those things that cerebral will kind of struggle with is outputting enough damage quick enough so let's see karen wanda coming in with their second special they still have a lot of hp to play around with here is uta Hopefully getting some good damage. That was some very good damage. Knocking out three of them is phenomenal. Capone crew is still probably going to be an issue though because he does provide healing. And Shanks, hopefully we can get the dub with my man Redhead Shanks. And we do. 
Securing the win. Okay, it was looking a little grim there, but of course, towards the end of the match, being able to launch specials very quickly is going to be a huge asset. And I guess that is also kind of an issue that Cerebral have, is they don't have a lot of characters that can increase your CT. The only one that really comes to mind immediately would be the recently released Hiori. She actually does provide that with her Rumble ability. But unfortunately, I'm not a big fan of Hiori's special. It doesn't really provide too much to the team. But I guess Hiori could be a replacement for Chopper. I think that would be an interesting interaction but by doing that you lose a lot of your bulk which is probably essential against some different teams all right i saw this team and i think it'd be a very interesting one to take on now they don't have v2 odin which is typically uh, an optimal choice for the side team but you know if you didn't have v2 odin this is about as optimal as you would get in terms of a mono side team you've got wano law you've got luffy crew you've got rebecca and toy soldier in the eneru combo so if we've got slashes on our team they do get debuffs so kara and wanda actually do receive the debuffs from the opposing side of the field so that is a bit annoying but it's not the end of the world, I don't think, as we can still rely on Shanks and Uta for some hardcore damage. And that's one of the things that, you know, some of the color teams still have, is that they can output some serious damage potential very quickly, because they do have access to some very good CT increases. Like Psy Team in particular, they've got, you know, Odin, Yamato, those two in particular are so good. Even Luffy Crew here is, is not a bad option either. But they also have Wano Law to give them level 6 CT increase, which is a huge thing for them. Here we go with Uta though, and they tank that pretty well. And I guess, you know, they do have the resistance to resist a bit of that side damage. Oh man, they're all bunched up here. This, this would be absolutely perfect if we can get Shanks to launch his special very quickly. They're all bunched up. He would hit all of them. Speaking of hitting all of them, there is a huge health cut coming in from Cad Viper. So we're just setting it all up here for Shanks. Hopefully we can get that to come through. And oh my god, Shanks got absolutely obliterated hit with half stats and then got hit with Yamato's attack yeah that's pretty unlucky that's uh yeah that, that'll kill a lot of characters in today's day and age but here's Doflamingo unfortunately the timer is still not really in our favor so he's not going to do as much damage as I would have hoped but still pretty solid damage I am only really worried about the damage from Yamato though they do have Roger in the back so we're hoping that Uta can stay up, we're hoping Kara and Wanda can stay up, and then obviously if we can get Doflamingo Special to launch again, then we'd be sitting in a really good position here. Uh, unfortunately, Neko with the Action Bind, that obviously isn't very good, but we should be okay. Uta is ready to launch her Special once again, our defense is reducing, which is looking a little bad. Oh no. Oh, Uta's down, oh my god. Okay, this is getting really bad right now. Okay, this is getting real down to the wire. Are we gonna get the are we gonna get the win? Here we go with Carrot Wanda launching this special. Hopefully get a knockout so Roger comes in. Nice, okay, so Roger's in. We just need Dofu to come in and launch his special. Luckily we will have Chopper come in, which will provide some healing effects. That's gonna be kinda nice to have actually. Okay, healing all of our characters essentially back to full HP. Wano Law for 2200 fixed. Okay. Doflamingo is ready to go. Come on, Dofi. Yes. <laughs> This is what I've been saying, man. Doflamingo on the bench. Easily, without doubt, the best bench unit in Pyro Rumble. Absolute homie. So we got a little unlucky in terms of different specials activated from the opposing side. Uh, definitely, if they had, um, if they had, you know, V2 Odin instead of the, the Luffy crew character, I think we may have lost that match without doubt. So this looks like a pretty interesting team. So this is a, a jam-packed quick team, and this is typically not a team that you would challenge, um, you know, unless if you were using a full dex team. If you're running a full dex team, it would have absolutely no issues clearing this one. But, um, you know, when you're running a team that isn't focused on that, then, you know, we, we got to be a little bit more cautious here. So, you know, once again, if, if our big hitters go down early, that's going to be really bad for us. And, of course, with... A Kainu on their side of the field, they're going to be a big issue because when they launch their special, they provide health cuts, they also do damage. Luckily, we don't have any strength units on our team because a Kainu does additional damage towards them. Obviously, not a good thing. So, who's going to be able to launch their special first? Chopper might actually launch his special. Yeah, it looks like Chopper's going to actually, this might actually work out pretty good. Oh, if we can just survive, if we can just survive and get Chopper to launch his special. After the Kaido hit, yeah, Kaido is launching his special. If we can just survive, please, Chopper, survive. Okay, he survived. Okay, so we got Shanks just missing out on his special. Oh my god, Chopper, why are you all the way over there? 
Okay, it still provided the healing. Okay, that actually worked out very good for us. Holy. All right, Karen Wanda. Okay damage. Shiryu gonna come in with a little bit. Luckily, once again, no strength characters. No Magellan either, which is kind of interesting. Okay, Groggy Monsters, they can actually hit pretty hard. We tank that, that's okay. Uta coming in now. Hopefully she hits really hard. Here we go. Okay, pretty solid damage. We need Shanks to come in big time. Shanks is going to give us some more statistical increases. Ooh, getting some health cuts in. Ooh, this is really good. Hopefully they all bunch up and stick together. That's what. That's exactly what we want. This is looking really good right now. Here we go, Shanks. This is your time, buddy. Nice, knocking out four of them. But the match isn't over. They had a lot of characters on the bench. They had Senor Pink. He can hit really hard. Luffy, you gotta, you gotta respect the Luffy. He can still hit really hard as well. I believe Luffy, he actually like, increases his attack for each character that gets knocked out. So if he's last alive, he'll have a lot more attack than usual. Another hit from Kaido. We've got very, very low defenses right now. Another chopper here would be fantastic. Okay, Carrot and Wanda coming in for additional damage. Knocking out three of them. And with all of that... We are going to secure victory once again. So you absolutely love to see it. So that's awesome. So, you know, still we were able to showcase some pretty cool stuff against these opposing teams. But definitely not a good option to use this team against Dex. Dex, I think, is probably one of the most difficult teams to clear out right now in Pirate Rumble. So, yeah, not a lot of teams can even beat Dex in the first place. And, you know, we, we did show that luckily we can still get through the Psy teams as well. Probably not full optimal with Odin and stuff. But still was able to get the job done which is pretty awesome pretty impressive so with all that being said that is going to wrap up this one piece treasure cruise video let me know your thoughts and opinions about shanks and the cerebral teams in pirate rumble down below in the comment section really hope you guys did enjoy this one and if you guys did enjoy it make sure to go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all of the content that i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video